Okay, I feel like this needs to be said. I want to talk about this for just a second. And it's because I'm watching the extended cut. I can't find the extended scenes. Please fire Zack Snyder. Please, please just fire him. It's obvious he's a piece of shit and has no idea what he's doing. How is it that majority of these characters are better off on an hour-long television show? How? Deadshot? Will Smith, I respect you as an actor, and I respect what you did with the character, and I respect the fact that you did the best out of all the characters on this movie. So much, in fact, that they want to give you your own Deadshot movie. I respect that. But... The character Deadshot was played so much better on Arrow. I, I can't respect a movie called Suicide Squad that when they have an actual Suicide Squad on a television show, it's better than the fucking movie. I can't even respect the fact that a cartoon movie is better than the live action movie. Hell, I can't even respect the fact that you went out of your way to get a Teen Titan of all Katana and you couldn't even make her worth a damn. I can't respect that. You purposely fucked over Harley Quinn. Purposely. I get it. Mar what's her name? Margaret Robbie is a bad bitch. Common said it. She's a bad bitch. She looks fucking amazing. Okay? Talking everybody's dick standing straight up. Okay? Bitches soaking the seats. But is she Harley Quinn? No. No. Is she annoying? Yeah. But she's no Harley Quinn. Jared Leto, you've got to be the luckiest son of a bitch in Hollywood. The luckiest son of a bitch in Hollywood because whoever the fuck was at that casting call has a raging heart on for you and just wants you to ram them right in the ass. That's the only way you got that fucking part. Because, buddy, I've never heard of you before this movie. And... Nobody likes you as the Joker. And quit kidding yourself if you want to comment the fact that you do. Quit kidding yourself because I don't care how much of the Joker he saw, he fucking videotaped himself doing. There's no way in hell anybody likes him as the Joker. That's why they removed so much of his fucking role. Hell, the movie could have been made without him in it. That's how fucking bad he is. A major character like that. And it could have been cut from the movie. Not only that, but he doesn't even look the part. And I know you can say, well, they put tattoos all over him and gave him a silver grill. And that's the reason. That's got nothing to do with it. It's the simple fact that I don't buy into the Harley Quinn Joker story in the movie. And I don't think anybody does. This movie was one huge disaster. They shit on Qu Killer Croc in a huge way. Waylon Jones, Killer Croc, they shit on him in a major way. Why is it that Killer Croc has to be a stereotypical black guy? It's obvious at this point they've done no research on the character and they just wanted a stereotypical person. Never mind the fact they threw a bunch of racist jokes towards Diablo. Nobody else got that? Um, Amanda Waller, the uh, Mexican homeboy. Really? But then Killer Croc talks about he wants B-E-T. Fuck is going on? 
This movie gives me a headache in so many ways. Am I the only one clapping at the fact that Zack Snyder says he might not be around after the end of Justice League Part 1? Is anyone else not excited about this? Because, honestly, anything with his name attached to it has been a fucking failure. And the only reason people are going to see it is because we're dying of hope. We're going, please don't fuck this up again. Please don't fuck it up. Please don't fuck it up. That's why. We're honestly hoping you didn't fuck it up. But when we look at the characters, when we look at the characters, I don't mind that they changed Harley Quinn's outfit. That doesn't bother me. What does bother me is, one, she doesn't sound like Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn has a certain sound, from the video games to the cartoons. Her voice is very, very particular. And I'm sorry, she doesn't sound like Harley Quinn. And second of all, why is she so fucking thin? Yes, Harley Quinn has always been kind of thin, kind of, but she's been thick, too. She's not. Sorry, Mag, Margaret, whatever your name is, you're not thick. You're thin. You have that much of an ass. That's it. You didn't fill out them shorts hardly at all. I mean, I'm pretty sure they had to find something smaller than a size zero. Um, and they had to find the most throwaway character you could find in the DC Universe. Um, Slipknot, they had to, uh, I had to even figure out who the fuck that was, and they killed him in five seconds, and he looked the best out of everybody. They... I was like, dude, who the fuck is this guy? I want to actually see what he can do. And as soon as they start showing off what he can do, they fucking kill him. <clears throat> um, I mean, it's just so bad that this this movie legitimately makes me worried for the Justice League. And I think a lot of people would agree that it makes you worried about the Justice League. Because if Zack Snyder's attached to it, you have a right to be. Because everything he's touched so far, without the help of somebody who knows what they're doing, it's just been a huge fucking train wreck from beginning to end. And, you know, that's just really fucking sad. Really fucking sad. That it's come down to that. I mean, are we really hoping to connect this to Batman v Superman? To connect that to Justice League? Because it is, it's looking like this is going to be the world's worst train wreck and they had a guy scream out fuck Marvel fuck Marvel really why fuck Marvel because they know what they're doing because they know how to write a script because they know how to write a script that interchanges between one character to the next to the next to the next and makes fucking sense because they know the characters and they can carry the characters from one movie to the next? Because they can write actual character dialogue that makes fucking sense? Because the producers and the actors study the actual characters? They go to the comic stores and buy the books? Is that why? the fuck out of here. I would have went up on stage and kicked him in the ass. If I would have been there, I would have went up there and been like, get the fuck off the stage. Fuck Marvel. Fuck you. It's your problem. At least they know what they're doing. Have some respect for people doing something that makes fucking sense. This, this right here is not good work. This is not a, this should have been a great love letter to fans 
along with Batman versus Superman. That should have been a huge, huge love letter to anybody who was born in the year, fuck it, between the 1960s up till that movie came out. Fuck it, 1960s all the way to 2000. Anybody born between there, that movie should have been a love letter to everybody. And that movie was a big fuck you to everybody. Because if you were born between 1960 to 2000, you've been waiting for Batman vs. Superman since then. Especially if you know anything about comics. You don't have to go out and read them. All you gotta know is Superman had his movies, Batman has had his. And you've only had to watch the cartoons and know that them two have actually been kind of close to fighting for so long that eventually would spill over to the big screen. And that's not what we deserved. What we deserved was Christopher Nolan write that fucking movie. What we deserved was Christopher Nolan to write it, Christian Bell to be in it, and for Henry Cavill to be Superman. What we got, I, I got nothing against Ben Affleck being Batman. He did good as Bruce. But damn. Damn. These two movies are showing the DC Universe going in a train wreck of a fucking way. And the more I watch them, and the more I watch them, and the more I watch them. I'm getting worried for Justice League. I really am. I'm getting worried for Justice League. I got... I'm invested heavily in the fucking DC Universe, man. I got every fucking animated movie over there. I just bought this. I want these movies to do good. I really do. Okay, I've I got the Green Lantern movie with Ryan Reynolds. I've got Deadpool. I've got all the fucking movies that I can have. On Blu-ray. This is my only 4K fucking movie. I've got all these fucking movies over here, man. I'm heavily invested into this um, comic book genre of movies. I'm heavily invested in them. I really hope they get their shit together for Justice League. Because if they don't, DC, it's over for you if you can't. It's over for you if you can't. Fuck a part two. You won't even make it. I know you have it listed as Justice League Part 1 and Justice League Part 2. But if Part 1 sucks, fuck a Part 2. And it's that simple. And you've already pushed back Part 1 in order to make way for THE Batman. Which, I don't even know if that was a smart move to be honest with you. I just hope that the Batman can make up for this and Batman vs. Superman. And if Ben Affleck has anything to say about it, it can't be as bad as those two because fuck. At least it's somebody different. I like the fact he's in Batman v Superman and Suicide Squad. It shows the potential to continue like they did back in the day with Wayne getting older. I mean, even Christian Bell's Wayne was getting older. That that I like to see. I don't like the idea of Wayne getting older, then he jumps back 35 years. That was fucking stupid. But this is a good idea. Um, but let me know, man. Let me know in the comments what do y'all think. Did, did y'all enjoy Suicide Squad? I mean, I enjoy the movie. It's a good movie. If you just want to watch a movie... To watch a movie, Suicide Squad is a good movie to watch. But if you're wanting to watch a movie and, like, really be taken by it and and really, you know, be like, man, this is a great comic book movie. And, you know, you enjoy those characters. Suicide Squad is not one. And like I normally do with all my um, digitals, there's the code. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, 
the code will give you the extended edition of this movie, by the way. So feel free to enjoy the extended version on me. I have no reason for that. I have a Blu-ray and a 4K. What do I need with the fucking digital, right? So y'all enjoy that. Um, I just wish that had they decided to make Suicide Squad the movie better than the Suicide Squad on Arrow. That, well, when they decided to make Suicide Squad. I wish they would have been like, hey, we need to make a movie that makes the actual Suicide Squad better than the one on Arrow and delivered upon it and not relied on one fucking guy okay because that's all they did they relied heavily on Will Smith and instead gone hey we have a cast of characters here and they're playing big names unlike Arrow who has Deadshot, and then a whole bunch of people that you really don't really know. So this is our chance to really, you know, go out and blow it up and knock it out of the park. This is a horrible fumble in that kind of the sense. And, and, and going at it that way, that's how you should look at it. Just watching it and to watch it, it's a good watch. But when you want to say, in comparison... Arrow Suicide Squad is a hell of a lot better. It's better performed. The actors handle it a hell of a lot better. And it doesn't rely on one person. Each member of Arrow Suicide Squad is actually fucking decent. This one relies heavily on Will Smith for majority of the time. Until it's time for Diablo to do his thing. And then it relies on Diablo. And like I said, what is her name? Margaret Robbie or Maggie Robbie. I don't know what her name is. She's just there. And it's a shame because we could have had Harley Quinn and Arrow or Gotham already. And they not fucking had the beef for this movie. Think about that. And then tell me if this movie's really worth it. I didn't want to make this video that long, but I had a lot of shit to get off my chest when it came to this. Anyway, go plug in that code, enjoy the movie on me, and I will see you guys next. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm still wearing my uh, Final Fantasy art t-shirt because it is still my favorite new t-shirt. I'll probably be wearing it in a lot of these videos from now on because it is my favorite new t-shirt. Um, and... I don't know if they still have a link on Facebook for it or not, but if they do, in my next video, I will have the link in the description for it. In my next video, I don't have it right now, so I'll try to find it for you guys so you can go purchase this t-shirt. Um, I don't know how much it is, to tell you the truth. I didn't buy it, but I'm going to go try to find it for you, and I'll have it for my next video. So until then, deuces.